this is just my experience. I'm not a doctor. I don't know anything. Your experience may be very, very, very different from mine, especially because there are three different vaccines right now and all different people. So it really doesn't, even if we took the same one, we might have different experiences. <laughs> It's Miranda. <clears throat> it's the morning. I'm the only one awake right now. I wanted to start this video because I have an appointment today to finally get vaccinated. Uh, you know how a lot of pharmacies are rolling it out and the one that this pharmacy specifically has available is Johnson & Johnson and I know a lot of people are a little nervous about that one. Honestly, I'm a little nervous about that one. I'm sure a lot of people feel like this because I've heard so many people say things like this. I'm one of those people who feels like if something is going to go wrong, it's probably going to happen to me. So I'll record, and hopefully I will continue to be okay. I'm sure it's fine. Being a little dramatic just because you really never know what's going to happen. I'm getting, uh, getting poked today with a, with a needle. I'm probably not going to be able to record that part or anything, but I just wanted to share. I'll record later. I have to do things. I'm going to have to get my son's lunch ready and everything so here we go bye hi i'm in my car and now i am about to go in and get my shot and um i'll let you know what it's like after the fact because i'm sure i have to be there for a little bit bye we are officially vaccinated we officially have proof and everything. I forgot which side the camera's on. We got this going for us. And it's, uh, my arm is already a little sore, but it's not that serious. I've had shots before, including uh, getting Depo-Provera in my butt every month for a while. So I'm used to having a sore thing. Let's just hope that it doesn't affect me in any other way, but I guess we'll find out. That's the point of this video. See you soon. So I just wanted to clarify that with my experience that when they got the vaccine, you know, ready, it was a matter of seconds. It was just like shot, boom, done. Um, I thought my arm was going to hurt and it felt like it was going to be sore, but even as I was driving, it started feeling better and it's, it doesn't hurt at all right now. Not even a little bit, so I don't know if that's going to come back or if that's just not going to be a thing. That would be great. And I'm not always the side effect person, but sometimes, and with getting sick, I get sick easily, but usually I get sick easily before my period, and I just finished my period. I should be good. I guess we'll find out. Don't have to worry about a second shot situation. That's it. I just wanted to share with anybody who's worried about it. Um, this is just my experience. I'm not a doctor. I don't know anything. Your experience may be very, very, very different from mine, especially because there are three different vaccines right now and we're all different people so it really doesn't even if we took the same one we might have different experiences um ooh, when i just did that i started feeling maybe a little bit of soreness lower down in my arm but maybe that was just because of the shot itself it was like not really sore more like a i'm aware maybe it's the t virus <gasps> maybe we're mutilated to Etrusco. go from five nine to nine five and my name is Miranda. She was talking to a mother Miranda, but I can't imagine Mother Miranda looks like her. I, ha I have a feeling Mother Miranda is going to be like this. <laughs> Maybe I should cosplay as that. Uh, today is Friday. So today is Friday morning. Uh, my appointment was 10.15. See if I feel like trash or not. Bye. So it's later in the day. My arm, I'm just, I feel aware of it. That's, that's it. It's not... Sorry, I just saw somebody go through a stop sign and it really pisses me off. But it's the same day and it is 2 o'clock, so we'll see if anything changes. Also, while I was driving, I said out loud, um, now that I've been microchipped, can you all hear me? And then my phone rang right afterwards, which was kind of funny. It was a... I don't know what it was. It was a scam or something. I didn't pick it up, but that's it. It's 30 p.m. and um, I have a new symptom. I'm freezing. I'm getting chills. 
I thought maybe because the temperature dropped a little bit, um, I'm in New York and the temperature just likes to fluctuate like crazy. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm not that cold now. And then I'm like, oh, I'm really cold. So I checked the paper and it says like one of the symptoms is chills. The only one where it doesn't recommend what to do with it because the other ones are like headache, fever and stuff like that. So for chills, it's just cover yourself up. And here's some chills right now. It's going even to my legs. Like I'm just really cold. I don't think I'm feeling anything else. My arm, I'm aware of my arm still, but it doesn't really feel sore. Um, there's no rash or anything going on. Everything looks fine. So it's just the chills right now. I'll update if anything else happens. Okay. Donovan is now in bed. It is 8.11 and I'm more cold and more achy. And it does still keep coming in waves. I'm starting to feel like I'm on the verge of something happening, like being like a little sick, but it might just stop here based on what I'm reading, but you can't go by that just because everyone is different, I keep saying. You can't go by that. You can't go by that. So far, this is pretty on par with what some people were saying. They were saying I had a chill. I had chills for one day and then it was gone. And I was like, okay, let's hope. I feel like I have a fever, but I checked and I don't have a fever. At least not yet. Everything seems fine. There's no fever. It shouldn't be this cold. All right. Bye. Bye. It is past 10 o'clock. I'm cold. I'm achy. I feel really tired. My temperature is kind of just in the 99. It's like the low 99. It's not really doing anything. But I just feel like I'm kind of like a little sick. I feel a little out of it and I kind of just want to go to sleep. So I also wanted to add that the injection site is now a little sore again. It just feels like, feels like I got a shot. It kind of feels like how I would expect right there. Um, but like as I'm touching it even, I'm getting chills in my, in my ankles even. I feel like on the verge of stuff. I'm just achy and I'm just, I'm surprised. That's it. It's 6 a.m. on Saturday. So it hasn't been a full 24 hours. I have a headache. And I'm in between like chills and sweating like that. Got the sensation of like I'm fighting a fever. Yesterday it only went as high as like 99.4 though. I didn't sleep very well. I was just achy. I don't know if I'm stuffy because of this or because it's morning. I legitimately just woke up like 10 minutes ago. I'll check in later. I'm gonna take some Tylenol and snuggle because I'm getting chills again right now. And I'm sweaty at the same time. back and it is 1 30 on saturday i'm feeling a lot better i still have a little headache but i don't know if it's for other reasons either way i'm feeling a lot better the injection site's still a little sore but it doesn't look like anything so if anyone was wondering i'm feeling okay like i said this is just me but this was happening Thanks. i think that's the end of this video because nothing has changed it is now eight o'clock at night on saturday so it has been plenty of time for me to probably have more reactions. I don't think I'm going to have any more reactions. And if it encourages anyone else, then that's great too, because I think it's important that if you can, you should. That's my opinion, um, and I'm just going by science and stuff, so what do I know? I, I don't want to sound like a pompous asshole, but like, Sure, I'm not my me. I'm sure, I'm not my me.